What's going on, SKF here, and welcome back to another Inform video. So we have 81 Inform Igalo, and if you guys have been playing for, I want to say FIFA 12, 13, around there, uh, you will know who this guy is. He used to be one of the sweaty beasts that we always used and enjoyed. There was, I believe, Igalo, Emanike, Musa, and Dumbia, so many players. Um, but yeah, he has an Inform. And he's in the Chinese league, so he can definitely boost that Chinese team you have going on. Or, of course, a Nigerian team. In fact, there are some good Nigerian players. You have Ndidi, that Prom JJ Akacha. You have that Inform Musa. So there's some good players there. Uh, but, yeah, he did get this Inform. And it doesn't look too bad. He has some good stats in there. So he has 83 pace, 79 shooting, 62 passing, 82 dribbling, and 82 physicality. And 4-star skills to go with it. Very nice. And the 3-star weak foot, which isn't that great. Uh, but yeah, this move, uh, sorry, Igalo card, uh, I was very happy to see it because I always enjoyed Igalo. Of course, he doesn't have that rapid pace as he used to. Uh, he only has 86 acceleration and 80 sprint speed, so very um, much slower than he used to be, which is very disappointing. But as you all know, I guess, with age comes a decline in pace. Um, and his shooting, uh, I'll get into that as well. He has 83 finishing, 68 long shots, very kind of poor for a striker um and that's where i come in with the hunter card i really recommend a hunter card because um his finishing is inconsistent and long shots of course are abysmal i uh, really relies on that 92 attack positioning he always is in a very good position his uh positional awareness is very good he's always it's kind of like a poacher actually he's always in that good position none of his goals are really to be honest special but he's always in the right position and at the right time which is very nice for this card, considering the pace um, being so low. So a Hunter card would definitely improve this card and definitely would be the best chemistry style for this guy. Um, he's not a hold-up striker by all means. He's only, I believe, 6 foot. Um, he does have 82 strength, 84 jumping, and 82 heading accuracy, but he didn't seem to be able to win uh, anything in the air. So definitely uh, just a poacher, someone who will sit in the box, uh, like this, you can see he's able to get in a very good position to get that goal. So, definitely, definitely uh, a good player uh, if you need someone who can be in the right spot and maybe distribute it. His distrib distribution uh, was pretty good. And in terms as a hold-up striker at times, he was very good. So, uh, that positioning, very crucial to this card. Um, and of course, like I said, 82 strength is good, but he's not going to be dominant in the air. He won't be winning you headers. Um, but he will be able to create his chances with his 4-star skills and 84 dribbling. So, um, a very unique card. Um, not nowhere near as good as he used to be. But, uh, I still enjoyed it. He has a very good record here for me. 7 games and out of 12 goals. Uh, so I'll give him a 7 out of 10. So, uh, that's gonna be my Agala review. Please like this video, subscribe, and thank you for watching.